Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Thank you for joining me for Morning Cup of Jesus. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always being there with me, you guys. I'm so excited about what I'm going to share with you guys this morning because it's all about friendship. I hope you have your cup of coffee or tea with you. I decided to have some coffee this morning. Mm. Since now I can taste it. <laughs> I still can't taste everything. You know what I find interesting is that while I can't taste everything, I still can't smell, like 100% smell everything either. And um, God is just so good, I'm telling you, because it almost, it almost feels like to me that the majority of the things that I am um, <clears throat> tasting or smelling are the things that I really, truly enjoy, that he gave me that, my, <laughs> my sense back to be able to enjoy those things. <clears throat> And I apologize if I'm lagging a little bit. Um, ever since I changed my room around, there's been some lagging with the internet connection. So I'm a little upset about that. And I have an extender in my office, I, you know, in my space here. And um, so I shouldn't be lagging. But anyway, so I apologize for that. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. Yes, friends. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys about this morning is about our inner circle of friends. Yes. Um, I, as I was reading the um, and doing my study on the matchless, um, which is about Jesus and his journey. And um, and it just reminded me of what true friendship really means. You know, the disciples spent three years day in and day out, mornings, evenings, you know, just so much time with him. You know, he wasn't here just to die for us. Jesus was here to live with us here on earth. And all those, and those disciples, those 12 disciples, his closest friends, spent so much quality time with him. They were his best friend, you know, and, um, <clears throat> And then, of course, Judas betrays him, you know, and Peter does later, too, denies him. So it's just like crazy to me, you know, but it just reminded me of what true friendship really means, you know, it really just reminded me of that. And so the Lord wanted me to speak to you about that this morning. So I'm excited. And it is a gloomy day, which is OK, because we need the rain. Thank you, Jesus, because we need the rain. Yes, we do. We need the rain, and it's humid, so it's warm. It's not, um, it's not a cold, you know, damp day. It's actually kind of warm, so which is good to you know, which I enjoy. I like that. So yes, yeah, so let me get to get, get us started with the prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Abba, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for one more day that we get to spend with one another, Father, in Your presence and in Your Word, Lord, in Your Word. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that. Thank you for friendship. Friends that are faithful to the end, Lord. Yes. Thank you for that kind of friend. And help us to also be that kind of friend for others, Lord. Give us the, the, the discernment to recognize who our true friends are, Lord, through you. And I ask you, Lord, to continue to keep putting people in our paths that draw us closer to you every single day, Father. Yes. And Lord, I ask for many blessings on anyone that is watching and anyone that will be watching, Lord. Many blessings in their families and their lives and your continued hedge of protection over them, Father. And help them to keep their eyes and their hearts focused on truth and focused on you, Lord. And then help them to also be that kind of friend that they want to have as well, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Yes, <clears throat> inner circle of friends. Okay, so I'm going to read a couple different scriptures. Um, the first one is Proverbs 18.24, if you'd like to join me. Proverbs 18.24. And I'm going to read from the New Living Translation from this, um, this devotional Bible. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother, right? Closer than glue. 
we're attached by the hip. But like I say to my husband, my kahapatu, kahapatu is like a tick <laughs> that does not detach itself from you. <clears throat> that is a true friend, yes. Closer than a brother. Wow. That's pretty powerful right there. Closer than a brother. Do you know that friends are mentioned more than a hundred times? The word friend, friendship, you know, friends, it's mentioned more than a hundred times in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And then I want to read also the book of Psalm 41, 9. <clears throat> so again, that's Psalm 41, 9. And I'm going to read from the NIV version. Even my close friend, someone that I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. Wow. And that's actually a prophecy, you know, that was fulfilled when Judas betrayed Jesus. Yes, and that's why we need to be careful with who our inner circle of friends are. <clears throat> And then John 15, 13. Again, that's the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13, from the New Living Translation. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friend. Wow. No greater love than to lay down your life for a friend. Mm. So, beloved daughter or son, <clears throat> I am always faithful and true. Even if every one of your friends disappoints you, I never will. Your friends on earth aren't perfect, and they will sometimes cause you pain. But even when one of your friends hurts you, Remember that it's not a representation of my love and faithfulness to you. And in your friendships, be the loyal, caring friend that others seek. Pray for good friends who will keep you close to me. I will put the right people in your life at the right time. And watch as I reveal your true friends, love, your heavenly father. And that is so true. God has put so many wonderful people in my life and in my path these last few years. Yes, he has. They have become friends, like Sarah <laughs> and others that join me here. You don't know who your real friends are until your friendship is put to the test. But be careful to fill your inner circle with people that you can trust. Don't get caught up in the trap of people pleasing. Remember that God is always there for you when you need a helping hand. Be the kind of friend that you want to have. Yes, that is so true. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. Mm. Thank you for putting the right people in our path, Lord, every day. The ones that I know that I can walk in harmony with. Like I mentioned yesterday, one heart, one passion, one unity and love with Christ. Those are the kind of friends that we want in our inner circle. At least I do. <laughs> Those are the kind of friends that I want in my inner circle, in my tribe of people. Because I know I can walk harmoniously with them. Right? <clears throat> Sometimes our own brother and sister will not do the things for us that a true friend will. And that is so true and so powerful. Thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. Thank you, Lord. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me. Yes, it was definitely a blessing to me. And I... Hope to see you guys again tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Go out there and be a true friend to someone and be that kind of friend that you want in your life as well. Be a blessing. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow morning. God willing. Love you. Bye.